Let's go to the weather data. Thanks to Davis Weather Stations and WeatherLink Network. Sitting atop Moore Magnet Elementary School, we are currently at 51 degrees Fahrenheit. We have light winds out there. It's not measuring any there. Uh, humidity is sitting at 81%. So it's up there. That's why we're seeing a lot of clouds out there and some mist. Um, we're measured about a hundredth of an inch of precipitation. And our barometer is sitting at 30 and 36 hundredths inches of mercury. Um, and we see that um, usually when I see that, that's a high pressure number, especially when I see it rising rapidly. I think that we're going to have uh, clear skies and have a beautiful day out there. So this is a little puzzling to me that I walked outside this morning and saw uh, the mist coming down, the light drizzle coming down. So let's keep on moving here. Let's go and check out our, our comparisons. We are up about six or seven degrees from where we were yesterday. Our pressure has increased. Our winds are sitting the same. We do have a little bit of precipitation coming down, and we do have a fully cloudy sky with some stratus clouds. Um, I would say that it is cool with some light rain out there today. Looking at the map, yesterday we saw H's everywhere, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Uh, this morning we see a lot of uh, mixing of some pressures out there, especially out west, um, where we saw a lot of H's. We have some lows coming in there. I think we just have some some winds in dr coming in in different directions. Um, this area right here that is was all H's yesterday. Uh, keep in mind, this is a very dry area, so we have a lot of not a lot of moisture that's there, which causes it to generally be a higher pressure. Um, so we have some lows coming in, um, drawing in some moisture with the lows coming off of uh, up here in the Pacific. Now, this moisture that's here, this moisture is coming because of uh, a lot of the, what's come out of the Gulf and some of this is coming off of the um, the Atlantic that's here. Yesterday, we thought that this was going to get dissipated as it came across the mountains. We wouldn't see much. And I think that there's just a lot of moisture that's in there. And even though some of it is being squeezed out, we are seeing some come through. Uh, when we look at the windy map in a minute, you'll see how spotty the precipitation is for this. Um, we have uh, a great difference in, in temperatures uh, as we come from up here. I've got family members up here in northern Michigan. They had a, a, a low this morning on their weather station that said 16 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is considerably colder up there. That's a temperature that we only see here in North Carolina a handful of times throughout the winter, not the spring. Um, and generally it's in January and February, the colder parts of our, of our weather. So let's keep on looking here. Let's go into our windy map. We want to talk a little bit about a couple of things that are in here. Uh, first, we are sitting at 50 degrees um, right now. We're noticing that there is, um, we do have some, let's check our wind in here. I want to see that. So we're having a northeast at four miles an hour. So that's that's where we get our, our, our north from. Earlier it was saying straight north. Um, we are also noticing as we look at the rain that is out there, we're noticing that there's some precipitation that's out here in this area from Kentucky and Tennessee. But this is what's interesting is we always talk about the, what's drawing up from the Gulf of Mexico. But these winds that we see that are pushing straight north all the way through, even going up as far as Canada, this is the Canadian border, this line that we have here. It is strange to see those winds in that direction. That's because of this high that we have right here. This big high. We had the H up here. We had an H in Virginia and an H right here and off, off the coast of North Carolina. This is a large high pressure that is causing all this to drive and cost moisture up this far. As we watch, watch this forward, it's interesting to see um, what happens with all that moisture that's coming through there is that it has built and come up here and it's going to end up impacting uh the great lakes area and it's strange to see those nastiest storms come up there because we usually say there's not a whole lot of moisture that's there to cause those big storms however um, with this kind of high this kind of spin on that air is driving a lot of that moisture up that far so as we look at our our ability to see uh precipitation here we just see as we zoom in, we see that uh, we have very little on there. We've got a little bit of blue, but as we get in here, um, it just kind of is tiny little specks on there. So it's very scattered. 
as it comes forward, and they don't expect us to see much here today. Um, however, I think that we're going to have some cloud cover. We know we do right now. And let's can move up a little bit further. That blob there is ours. There we go. That's Winston-Salem for Scythe County. Um, so we're at 50 50% 50 cloud cover right now. And a little bit later, we should clear off some. Let's just see some clouds out there. But throughout the day, we should decrease um, and clear it out. Hopefully, tomorrow will be a little bit clearer. Yeah, tomorrow looks like it's clearing off some for us. Now, we are looking at uh, the chance of there being uh, a tropical storm. We are getting close to hurricane season. Hurricane season starts June 1st. Um, hurricanes are named in alphabetical order. So the first tropical storm that we see that gets named will have a, a name that starts with an A. The first one this year, um, they're talking about that, that we may have one form over the weekend. The first one's name is going to be Arthur. So tropical storms are the precursors to hurricanes. So we're going to watch the pressure because we know that pressure, low pressure is what causes uh, as an indicator of some of these bad storms. So as we're looking for pressures, the low pressures are indicated by blue. Ah, here it is. Now we see this little thing swirl starting right here. Um, if it gets strong enough winds, they will name it to be Arthur. And um, the pressures right here are decreasing as it gets stronger and stronger. This is Saturday, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Arthur is uh, there and our winds, let's see what the wind speeds are, wind gusts. Um, at 25 miles an hour. We had rainstorms that were greater than that uh, recently. There's 41 mile an hour gusts. So there are some winds picking up there. Um, winds need to get substantially greater than that to be called a tropical storm. So, uh, and more and more even for a hurricane. So we're gonna watch that to see if Arthur forms um, this weekend. But we'll keep our eye on this for the next couple of days as we get closer to the weekend. Uh, have a great day, stay healthy, stay well, enjoy this liquid sunshine. And um, remember, we do science.